Hi everyone, happy Monday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition 12 box pick your team number 12. All card ship, a lot of great stuff here. Let's do it. Big thanks to this group for making it happen here on a Monday. Now if you have a little rooftop next to your game, that means you won that spot in the team random. We pull teams, the remaining teams out and turn into more of a random style thing. We just randomize your names, not the teams. We matched you up. Those were the results. That uh, that randomizer is in a separate video if you're looking for that. All right, and here is the uh, the Chrome case here. And um, in case you're keeping track, we do we do have another 12 box break loaded up, and we don't have too many of those left. So another hobby break is loaded up, ladies and gentlemen. If you're into that. The top rookies we're looking for, Julio Rodriguez, obviously, Wander Franco, Bobby Witt, Jr. Um, got a list here. Jeremy Pena, O'Neill Cruz, Spencer Torkelson, the usuals. And then some of the prospects that we're looking for is Christian Vaccaro, uh, Roderick Arias, Jason Curio, Yasser Mercedes, Yankel Fernandez, and Jackson Merrill. Among others, but those are some of the main ones that we'll be, we'll be focusing on. And of course, all card ship. Who knows where any of these prospects will end up, so it's worth looking all of these up um, when you get these cards. You know, a lot of times with Bowman, you're just gonna, you're gonna kinda hold on to most of these. See how these guys progress in the minor league system, and then hopefully they, they reach the majors with big fanfare, a lot of hype. You know, because that can happen over the years. And then hopefully they do well. I was off yesterday for Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving weekend, but back today. Good to be back. How is everyone's Thanksgiving? Let me know. Especially if you have any fun stories. I went to the, uh, some of you, most of you know, I went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is where I got this, this cool hat here. There's Dylan Dodd for the Braves leading things off for Chris Butler. That was a lot of fun. Everyone in Cleveland was telling me uh, how amazing the weather was, and I guess it was. It was a little chilly for me. Here's a speckle Simon Juan to 299. But it was in the, uh, it was like 57 degrees, 58 degrees, almost 60. Everyone was excited. Every restaurant I went to, everyone at the Rock and Roll of Fame, they were having great weather, this and that. So I'll, I'll take their word for it. There's Nick Madrigal. To tune and apparently I just missed the week before there was rain and then the week after. Like this week, there's supposed to be like rain, snow situation there, so I have missed that. So it looks like it worked out. It was Rosemont Verdugo, 62 out of 299, speckle autograph for the Friars. That'll be for Mark. And I'll do an autograph recap at the end of this as well. There's a James Outman to 25. 
Might get a little more run for the Dodgers this year. Julio Rodriguez, rookie card. Let's see if we can find some parallels for him. This will go to Sean Maddock and the Mariners. These uh, shimmer cards are nice, not numbered though. Here's the next one. Has anyone been to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? It was, it was, uh, I guess, I went to Cooperstown over the summer. I saw the Baseball Hall of Fame for the first time. Um, and that was, I was warned about this, but it was smaller than, than I expected it to be. So you can kind of breeze through the Baseball Hall of Fame relatively quickly. A lot of cool stuff, but you can kind of breeze through it somewhat quickly. It was awesome, though. I uh, definitely took a, took like, a couple laps, a few laps through the Baseball Hall of Fame. Just made, making sure I kind of saw everything. It was really nice. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You can also walk through it pretty quickly. But I think I could have done it again. <laughs> but I think you can, you, can, you can breeze through it two, three hours. I think it was like winter hours. I think they, they close a little bit sooner, but but um, you know you can probably I could probably spin through it another day if I if I had the time. If I lived there, I feel like I would have. You know, you can spend one day on one floor. There's like four or five floors. You can do one day on one floor, a whole day on another floor. Just really, really taking all of the, the exhibits and stuff like that. There's Sebastian Espino for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Oliver. Lot of, uh, lot of uh, memorabilia, obviously. There's 004 out of 250 Gavin Sheets. And these are actually... Uh, Fall upon uh, about one per case. Sometimes I saw I've seen two. This is a real short print right here. This is Anthony Volpe for the Yankees. It's gonna go to Adam. There you go, Adam. Got that team straight up. Gavin Sheets going to Steven. Got the White Sox straight up. A lot of clothing memorabilia, a lot of a lot of cool stuff like that. I was happy to see that there was a lot more, uh, a lot more iconic guitars there than I thought. There's Isaac De Leon for the Orioles. Simon won that in the team random, but that was really awesome to see. Just a lot of Beatles guitars, a lot of guitars from like old blues guy, you know, Howlin' Wolf. Saw like Tom Morello's guitar from Rage Against the Machine and his, I took a lot of pictures. Um, and his pedal board, which was really awesome. Saw um, one of my favorite things was I saw a Mellotron there. Some of you may know the Mellotron as a, uh, as I guess one of the first uh, synthesizers. I guess you can call it an analog synthesizer. Used a lot on like a lot of Beatles records and some other stuff too. It's a cool thing where each key, it's like the keyboard is like a piano. Each key is set up with a, uh, it's basically like a looping device essentially. But each key is attached to a, uh, a, a tape, a cassette tape reel, basically. It's about the size of the, the width of a cassette tape reel. And you just record samples over it, and you play it. Well, it's cool, and they're super rare and super fragile. What's cool is that you can see into the back of it. 
because they had it set up in a big glass case. You can see, look in the back of it and see all the little tape strips that were there. Pretty awesome. I think there's only, I want to say there's only maybe a handful of working ones in the world. Maybe Mark Knopfler of like Dire Straits who collects a lot of stuff like that. I think has one in his home studio. I'm sure McCartney has one in his studio. There may be one in a recording, maybe Abbey Road or something like that somewhere. Probably a couple other studios and that might be it in terms of fully operational ones. That was awesome to see. And I think in there, they have a little movie theater there. They were showing the Beatles rooftop concert that was on IMAX for just one weekend. And I got to see that again, which is pretty cool. 347 out of 499, Sebastian Espino. Blue Jays, that's going to go to Oliver. Oliver Soria with that one. There's Luis Angel Acuna to 499. That is uh, Ronald's brother. One of the two that are working their way through the minor league system. There's Jason Curio for Cleveland. That's going to go to Randy. Let's try to look for some low numbered stuff of his as well. Or any numbered stuff. Autographs would be nice too. Now, I went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with, with kind of no expectations. There's a Dalen Leal, 291 out of 299, speckle autograph for Sean Magnum Washington. So I didn't really look anything up. Just kind of went into it, went into it cold just to absorb everything all at once. Now, in my head, I was like, man, with all this Rock and Roll Hall of Fame stuff, um, so be Eddie's Leonard for the Dodgers. That would be for Christian. I was thinking to myself, man, that that would probably if any musicians went there. And I play a little bit of music, play a little guitar, and I was like, man, if anyone that goes there, man, you probably want to want to play. Junior Perez, thirty-eight out of fifty for the A's. Would be for Craig. And lo and behold, there is a room. Like there's a guitar room, basically. One floor is like half, three quarters of it is a guitar room. It's like a learn to play area. And so they have like all these bays set up with like big Marshall like stack amps. They're not fully, they're not trying, I think they route it through a, through a much smaller speaker. So it's not super loud, but like there's like a, a number of learn to play bays with a few different electric guitars that you can just grab and start playing. And there's like a video, if you need it, there's like a video screen that'll kind of guide you through like some chords and stuff like that, which was awesome. There was like three or four electric guitar bays and then a couple bass guitar bays. I think there was a keyboard area too. And then two drumming rooms. They, they, they put them in like two different soundproof rooms, but there was a line for that in that time for I wanted to bang around. I, don't, I can't play drums, but I wanted to bang around on it, but they, it was too long. And then like another kind of side room that had, it was an acoustic guitar room, which was cool. So I got to mess around in there for a little bit, which was awesome. And then there was like a cover band that was playing in like the food court area, all in one big open atrium in the food court area. And there was another side room in that guitar playing area, a different room where there was a jam room and like members of that band went in there and would like jam with other people who would walk in and play. So that area was a lot of fun. I, mean, I, could, spend, I could spend a day there. All right, next box. There's a Brandon. Mesquita, 38 out of 150, blue, little lava pattern in the background, going to Chris Butler and the Braves. Starling Marte, 109 out of 250. EA with the Mets.
There's Leonardo Balcazar to 250. Zach with the Reds and Raj with the Twins will get the uh, Yasser Mercedes. Is is there's Michael Burrows for the Pirates. It's going to go to Jeremy. Jeremy Olson, Pirates. Denzer Guzman, 56 out of 4.99. So yeah, as a music fan, it was really cool to be in there, see a bunch of memorabilia, hang out with history. Really good job. Downtown Cleveland, real nice. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. There's like a little uh, little green park, and then the Brown Stadium is right is right there. Um, that downtown area really nice. I know Cleveland gets a bad rap, but I have to say, I don't know. I was talking to some uh, some rideshare drivers, and they're like, "Yeah, downtown's great. It's nice. It's clean. It's friendly. There's just." You know, there's just a lot of parts of town you just don't go to. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's not too, not too different from LA. A lot of people are like, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, walked around there, a lot of great bars, a lot of great restaurants that were open. Got to check out the Cleveland uh, art museum that was there. That was also really nice. A lot of nice stuff in there. It was a good time. So yeah, if anyone goes there, I would highly recommend uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And, uh, and a little uh, beer place called City Tap. A lot of local brews that were all... Uh, I don't know, there were maybe like 60, 70 local brews on tap. That was pretty awesome. If you're into that sort of thing. There's Rosman Verdugo, Padres, Mark, with the Friars. There's Simon Juan, blue to 199. Wasn't that crowded too? It just seemed like it was. It was a. Uh, not a lot of people, and I thought, oh, well, it's probably because there isn't a Browns game this weekend. It was An Anthony Gutierrez, 70 out of 99, for the Rangers, Chris Butler. But there was. The Bucks were in Cleveland. And then I was like, oh, that probably makes sense. I don't think there is a lot of. I mean, how many Tampa Bay fans, in nice weather Tampa Bay, 27 out of 199, Jonathan India, Red, Zach, are flying north to Cleveland to that game on Thanksgiving weekend. Because the hotel I was out was, was pretty close to the stadium. It didn't seem like there were a lot of people there at all. They won. Cleveland won in overtime. He beat the Bucks. I'll credit. Uh, I'll credit that that win. I should probably get a game ball. I think that that win should go to me. After all, I was born about an hour away from Cleveland. If my parents had stayed there beyond like. Year two of my life, I probably would have uh, been a Cleveland sports fan. 
so I'll credit my whole my homecoming. I don't, I don't think I've been to Cleveland since I was born there. But yeah, I'll credit my homecoming with uh with their with their uh, overtime win. I'll write to the Browns for and request that game ball. It should be pretty easy. You know, in retrospect, I probably should have probably should have taken an extra day off and went to that game. I didn't. I just. Did, I didn't even think to look. To be honest with you, there's Dalen Leal, 23 or 25, Orange Shimmer. It's a nice looking one. Sean Maddock with the Nets. I, Frank, I'll be honest. I'll even be more honest with you. <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, I'm all honest all the time. Um, I didn't even think that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was right next to the stadium. I, didn't even, I really didn't even look it up on a map. And if I did, I just didn't think it was that close. And then furthermore, I didn't even look up tickets. I wonder how, I wonder how expensive they would have been. I missed an opportunity there. Uh, might have to go back. All right, we got Tanner McDougal, White Sox autograph, Stephen Carney. Well, that was that was my weekend. It's Christian Hernandez, one seventy three out of one ninety nine Cubs. That'll be for Jeremy. Flight to and from, pretty uneventful. No, no, no travel horror stories here. It's George Kirby to four ninety My back was a little uncomfortable. There was a, uh, I, was, I was in an aisle seat. It was the, the plane is three and three. I was in an aisle seat. And the window seat was, was uh, a lady that was, that was easy on the eyes. And there was a middle seat there and I was like, oh, there's no one there. Yeah. A chatting opportunity there. No, a relatively large gentleman ended up in the middle seat. Never saw her again. All right, we got Jojo Blackman, Chris Butler, Rangers. There's a Wilford Veris, 277 out of 299. Speckle for the White Sox. It's going to be for Steven. It's a Matt Olson Refractor, 32 out of 499. For the Braves, it'll be for Chris. And Sebastian Espino. Atomic Parallel, 51 out of 100. Oliver Soria with a few autos in this one with the Blue Jays. Uh, 
we got Yonski, Yon Kenzie, Yon Kenzie Noel, or Noel. 56 out of 99, the first Noel that I've seen here. That goes to Randy and the Guardians. And Adam, all these, I'm sure I've missed a few of these possibly, but Rod, that Roderick Arias, among others, will all go to you. Hopefully we can actually find some parallels or maybe some autos of him. Jeremy Pena, rookie. Juan Franco, Shades of Greatness, insert. And onwards to the next. box. So that was my Thanksgiving, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully everyone had a great Thanksgiving as well. Everyone hopefully had some good times, safe travels and all that. I think, I want to say it's the first, uh, probably the first Thanksgiving where it was where everything, you know, pandemic-wise was like wide open, I want to say. So I feel like there were a lot of people traveling and finally, you know, control traveling a lot more, I want to say. The hot stove has been percolating a little bit. I think in some smaller news, Luke Mail uh, signs with the Reds. Mariners signed Trevor Gott. Mariners Astros among teams with interest in Michael Conforto. Pirates having discussions with Kyle Gibson. White Sox signing Mike Clevenger. I think that was just a one-year deal. Justin Verlander met with the Dodgers. I'm sure he's meeting with a lot of people. Ivaldi, Matt Stram drawing strong interest. A deal was done, though. The Astros are going to sign uh, Jose Abreu to a three-year deal for about, what, $19.5 a season, pending a physical, turning 36 in January. It's a solid addition for that, for that Astros team. We got Shades of Greatness autograph, 43 out of 99, Jackson Merrill. Nice, that's one of the guys that we're definitely looking for. Mark Neshbauer with the Friars. Congrats. There's Benny Montgomery for the Rock, 69 out of 125. That's going to be for Adam. There he is again. That's what he's about. And he's a shortstop prospect. Of course, they've got someone in that spot there. There's Yerlin uh, Confidan, 78 out of 199. There's Warming. 75 out of 150 atomic. And these uh these Bowman cards right here. It's not a slightly thicker card sock. The Invicta, Invictus, something like that. That'll go to the Rockies, that's gonna be for Adam. There's Yankil Fernandez. 50 out of 50, another one of the the top tier names that we're looking for here. And that'll be for the Rocks. That's going to go to Adam. Nice. It's James Wood speckled to 299. I suppose if Jackson Merrill's Advertises the way he's supposed to be. 
you know, you can maybe see, uh, maybe he shifts, maybe he pushes uh, Tatis Jr. to maybe first base or maybe more of a DHing spot. There's Royce Lewis to 299. Oh, probably don't have to worry about that for a few years. Out of high school, probably don't have to worry about that for three or four years. Royce Lewis going to the Twins. That'll be for Raj. There you go, Adam. Much needed hit. Congrats. Nice low number as well. 50 out of 50. That gold really pops. Sam, what's going on? Matt Holiday's kid. Has he, had, has he been in a licensed product yet? I don't think so. Has Was he drafted this this year? Oh, right. He was drafted first overall. Uh, no. Uh, so kids, guys that were drafted this year um, will probably end up in either Bowman draft or Bowman, one of the two. I feel like traditionally, like the number one pick ends up in Bowman draft, which will come out first, among others. And then the number two pick and others that weren't in Bowman draft will end up in Bowman baseball. Which would be Drew Jones. That's uh, Andrew Jones's kid. Two of that one and two of that draft is going to be pretty good. Now, I don't know if Bowman Draft is even on the calendar yet. There's still a lot of other products that need to that need to come out. I think. I think this is still sort of the. There's Jeremy Vargas for the Brewers. That's going to be for David. Last spot mojo strikes again. I think we aren't as far behind as we once were. I think because of the pandemic and supply chain issues and athlete access and all that. There's Logan O'Hop for the Phillies. That's going to be for Corey. You know, a lot of products have been delayed or pushed back and and all that stuff, but. I think they're still, they are doing better. They're, the manufacturer are all pretty much catching up. They're not fully caught up just yet. There's Michael Hernandez, 55 out of 199. Orioles, that'll be for Simon. There is Jason Curio. Nice. Cleveland, this is for you. Randy, with the Guardians, won the Guardians in that filler. Got a pretty nice autograph right here too. He's using his leg as kind of a guide, so it kind of, kind of fills that space really nicely too. Nice, your number twenty prospect in their international class. Tooled up team with high end speed. With the rule changes coming up next year, guys with that high end speed might come in very handy. No more shift. The bases are bigger. Can't throw too many times to check runners. So I think there's going to be a lot of opportunities for stolen bases. There's your NL MVP, Paul Goldschmidt. Randy with the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. Goldschmidt goes to Mark and the Cardinals. All right, nice. All right, final three boxes coming up. 
We got another case of this in the store right now. So if you want to, if you want to get your teams, if you miss out on the first time, get them for the next time. Teams are going fast. Yeah. So I think Bowman Chrome Light is still coming out. That's probably I think that's this week. Um, Stadium Club is still on the docket. So is uh, well, I'll just talk about Tops products here in this video. The Chrome Chrome Black supposed to come out soon, sometime in December. Five Star Baseball still on the still on the docket should be coming up. Triple Threads, no exact date for that, but we're looking at those. Finest Baseball in January, Inception in January, Gold Label in January. These are all 2022. So we might not see January and February might be just catching up on the remaining 2022 products. And that's when we might, and then finally maybe, I guess maybe just in time for spring training, we might see March, April, we might see like uh, Bowman Draft, Bowman is my guess. I think the schedule will be pretty fluid, so. Sam's asking, what are my thoughts on tops buying back Judge and Goldie cards? Are they, they, they going to insert buyback autos with them? This is the first time I recall seeing them do something like this. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen this too. I think, um, I don't know too much about the details of the plan. But I think the, the initial idea is to, uh, is to help uh, drive people to local car shops. It's a program that helps local car shops just to kind of get people in the door, get people, ooh, nice Christian Vaccaro, Sean Maddock with the Nationals, to get people in the door, that sort of stuff. There you go. Nickname the Phenomenon by Scouts. That's a good nickname. Another Juan Soto in the making, perhaps. There's Matt Manning. Refractor? But not numbered? Refractor, but not numbered. Now to go to Detroit. Yeah, so I think it's cool. I mean I don't know what I don't know what they're gonna do with the with the cards ultimately. There's Max Muncie to one ninety nine. But I wouldn't be surprised if some of those end up in, in, a, in a buyback product. There's Jeremy Vargas for the Brewers. That'll be for David, another one for him. So yeah, I'm sure we might see him in some sort of archive signature series style product or... Something like that. There's Jose Ramos. 99 out of 199. Christian with the Dodgers. Yeah, that program's only in store. So if you're local, you can visit Jaspies. You can ask us about it. There's Mookie Betts. 66 or 65 out of 299 for my Dodgers. Christian with the Dodgers. All right, two more to go. Maria Noah, any hits for the Marlins yet? I, I'll be honest with you, I don't remember. I wasn't keeping track of Marlins hits, but I will do an autograph recap at the end of this break. The rest of, uh, well, we're almost at, at December. The rest of the December should have some really nice baseball releases, though. 
Stadium Club baseball is on the docket. I mean, these dates could these dates could be pushed back, but they could change. But I think on December second, which is this Friday, Stadium Club baseball should be released. So look out for pre-orders there, unless it gets pushed back. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I think Heritage High Number might be for mostly for personals or in store. On the 16th, Top Chrome Black will definitely have a lot of. On the 21st, Five Star. Chrome Update, slated for December, but no exact date yet. Gilded Collection, December, but no exact date yet. Same with Triple Threads. The Blowout Calendar, which is usually pretty accurate, has it as December TBD. There's Cal Conley for the Braves, Chris Butler. Well, that, that's a nice set of new releases too. So keep your eye out for all that on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Lonnie White Jr. speckled at two ninety nine for the Pirates. That'll be for Jeremy. There's Tyler Collins, Braves, Chris Butler. A couple Braves back to back. Willie Vasquez to four ninety nine. Bobby Witt Jr. And the final box. Good luck. Hydration for the final box. Good luck, everybody. More Bowman Chrome coming up next. This time, HTA edition. Which will be much shorter than this. HTA per box, only three cards, and they're all autos. So if you're one of those people who are like, man, I don't need all these cards. Just give me the autos. That Bowman Chrome HTA Choice Edition is for you. That uh, We've got a few more cases of that with teams left in the store right now. And, um, and I want to say that uh, I think only HTA is part of this promo that, that we have going on. All the details are on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Just go and check it out. Thanks. And there's Leonardo Balcazar. The auto seem to be in that same spot towards the front of the box. That's for uh, Zach and the Reds. There's Ro uh, Rosemond Verdugo, 159 out of 199 for the Padres. That'll be for Mark. Julio Rodriguez rookie cards for Sean Maddock and the Mariners. There's Hunter Green rookie card, two out of 299. To uh, going to the Reds, that'll be for Zach. The Yankeel Fernandez card, rookie card going to Adam and the Rockies. There's Diego Velasquez, Giants, EA. 
got the giant in the team random, and gets the last auto of the break. And we got an Eddie's Leonard. 28 out of 75, yellow parallel for the Dodgers. Christian with the Dodgers. And that, my friends, is that. That was 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition. 12 box Hobby Edition. Pick your team number 12. The next pick your team in the store right now. If you're watching live, go get your teams. Let's sell it out. Here's the recap. Pretty nice stuff. A couple back-to-back. Uh, -back, some of the bigger names right there. Nice Cian Kill Fernandez, another big name. Low number parallel. There's Jackson Merrill, another one of the upper tier prospects here a lot of prospect hunting in this stuff a lot of nice parallels a lot of good color that's a short print a lot of great stuff thanks for watching thanks for breaking with us i'm joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and i'll see you next time for the next one Bye bye